Hey man, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, man. Look, today I'm gonna be ready to, to Toronto drill rappers that die after this songs part one, man. Look, I did some couple videos like this. Matter of fact, I know I haven't did no videos like this. I did some videos where I did the uh goddamn the disses where they with the uh most disrespectful disses, man. Maybe some of these niggas that was in the most disrespectful disses was are gonna be on here because a lot of them disses, them niggas, it don't go all well like I'll be saying. I'll be happy in the moment, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Taunting these niggas that's doing the look. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They be all taunting. But once them niggas catch you after that diss, they'll they'll never forget that diss. Niggas don't never forget that goddamn this, bro. For real, bro. And the reason why I'm talking like this, bro, I got fucking allergies, bro. I got, like, bad allergies. I've been having bad allergies all my life. I've been kind of sick. For real, like, I've been real sick. But today I'm feeling good. I got me crockies on. You know what I'm saying? I got me crockies on. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I might fuck your bitch in my crockies. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, man, look. Before I click on this play button, make sure you... Follow me on the ground, bro. Please run the followers up. Please, please, please. Can you run my followers up for real, man? For real, for real, for real. Please run the followers up. For real, man. Because the link will be in the description down below, man. I know I've been talking y'all motherfucking head out. Let's get into it, bro. Hit him up. Don't be chilling on the benches. We ride out trying to shoot all the adventures. Yeah, we touch some innocence when we step in, but we pack name brands. That's some shit that they don't mention. What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Toronto rappers who died after dropping diss tracks aimed at rivals. Rest in peace to all the fallen mentioned. At number 1, we have Smoke Dog. Smoke Dog was a rapper from the notorious Region Park area and a member of the 878 Halo Gang hitters. Smoke Dog was a well-known artist in the city at the time, gaining a lot of buzz and even going on to I did some on Smoke Dog. I think I did a uh I do I did the series where the uh the Savage from the 6 I did that one. I think <clears throat> I think he won one of the savages from the six, wasn't he? I don't know. I'm not sure. Do they got a savages from from the six on him? Tours in Europe with Drake. Now to give some backstory before we start. A little while after Smoke Dog had gone on tour with Drake, he was robbed for his chain. Smoke Dog's rivals from the Pio Augusta Avenue area would of course go on to clown him, specifically rappers Vanilla Stacks, Rolex Homie, K Money, and Casper. His rivals would even post them wearing his chain along Dang. with making music videos, taunting the Halo gang. Smoke well, Dog. But sometimes it don't even be niggas change though. Like niggas niggas be making replica chains of that shit. Like so that's why I take that that when a uh, a nigga say he got a rapper chain, I'll be like, I take that shit with a grain of salt. Cause a lot of times them niggas be lying. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't really been took the chain off the nigga. They got a chain that looked like that nigga chain. Or sometimes they didn't took the chain off his homeboy neck. You know what I'm saying? Some rappers let their homeboy rock the chain and shit. You know what I mean? And then he'll take he snatch out of his homeboy neck. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll claim he they snatch it off the rapper neck. So you know what I'm saying I really don't I really don't ever take that shit serious, like for real. Until it's like confirmed, confirmed that this rapper really got his chain took off his neck. That's when I you know what I'm saying? People just say, Yeah, he got that, yeah. So and his crew did not take though. kindly to this and would retaliate. Really the tensions would die down a bit until a little while after rappers K-Money and Casper were locked up earlier in June 2018. Smoke Dog would eventually shoot a music video titled Fountain Freestyle, which would be released on June 25, 2018. The track was instantly gaining a lot of attention in the city due to Smoke Dog filming the music video in his op's neighborhood, and this angered his rivals. Five days later on I June 30, 2018, shit. Smoke Dog would be leaving right a club with manager Cobra Prime and a female. As they were walking, they were approached by rapper 21 Need and KJ from the Three Letters Was Gang, who were affiliated with the PO Gang. They would both have an argument which would result in Smoke Dog allegedly trying to wield out his gun, but would be shot alongside Cobra Prime. Both yeah. would be rushed to hospital and announced dead hours later. There's a video out there which is quite gruesome, and I will not be sh- Well, niggas, the thing about niggas doing that and uh, sh uh, shooting in their uh, ops hood, you know what I'm saying? Shooting a video in their ops hood, that fuels the fire, you know what I'm saying? It already fuels the fire that you got down, you uh, dissing the ops, but like, you go in their hood and go in their shit? They, they, they start getting, you know what I'm saying, the pride to come in, you know what I mean? Yeah, we can't let this nigga do that and nothing don't happen to this nigga, you know what I mean? 
he shot a, a video, a diss video in our hood, they give them extra motivation to kill you type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why if you're going to do a diss song, I don't know. I don't know what to say because I might sound pussy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look at this nigga like he pussy. He going to say not. Nah, don't go in nobody else's hood and do the diss. Oh, this nigga pussy. You know what I'm saying? But still, though, like, they get the ops extra motivation to kill you. They already want to kill you because, you know what I'm saying, you the ops. But they give them extra motivation. Sherry, this is exactly five days after Smoot Dog would release a music video. His death would shock the city with tons of condolences from people like... Uh, Lil Jojo, that's a Lil Jojo situation. You know what I mean? Lil Jojo, he did a uh, BDK diss. I don't mean, you know what I'm saying? If y'all some BDs, I'm just, I'm just naming the song. You know what I'm saying? I'm not BDK. I'm not none of that. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened with Lil Jojo. He did the, the diss song to the whole neighborhood. Like, um, they say like a month after this nigga got his ass killed. Like, tough. Drake. But with the condolences came the disrespect. Rappers like Robin Banks from Driftwood would celebrate his death on his story as well as others. Many artists such as YG and Top 5 would continue to diss him until now, such as in their recent song titled Heard of Me. Like a wanna how was had crap. I seen his brains on the floor on Snapchat. Eh, can't even lie how to rewind that. And my mirrors were the nines at. Others would initially stay neutral like Pressa, who had somewhat of a cool relationship with Snoop Dogg, as the two toured with Drake together. Pressa would end up switching due to apparent pressure from his members, and begin to diss him even going as far as posting free 21 Eat recently despite Pressa even supporting Snoop Dogg's Fountain oh, Freestyle. Uh, nah, man, he let, the, he let them niggas get to him, bruh. I couldn't, I couldn't do that, bro. I don't know, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't let no nigga tell me to go against my homie. My homie died. That nigga, my homie, bro. Ain't no way I'm trying to diss this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be, I'd rather for them niggas be against me than, you know what I'm saying, to diss my homie. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all niggas for real, bro. I ain't no way, presser. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. That's tough. Tough, no matter, bro. When you die, you don't know. No, you never know what niggas gonna do behind your back, bro. Niggas might fucking around, and start smoking, smoking your pack, bro. Niggas get the niggas were smoking with you. Now they smoking your pack. Tough. About this, rest in peace to Smoke Dog and Cobra Prime. Number two, we have Sizlak, also known as LB, who's from the well-known Rexdale community, and was known as the head of the one of the most prolific gangs in the city, known as IDS short for in the streets. Sizlak was known to beef with numerous hoods, and would brag about the fact he beat two murder cases in his youth. I bring the heat to so just be cool. Gucci man caught a body. I beat two. Every block knows that I'm live in these streets. If it's beef, you won't survive in these streets. Nah, youngins committing homicides in these streets. I'm the truth. You tell it lies when you speak. Music. On April 20, 2016. 19 Sizlak would drop a music video titled Realist in the Six with many members of the IDS gang such as Moolah First and Parma Ten Times members like Big Lean Present. Known as Realist in the Six, where he is essentially proclaiming him and his gang is the realist in the city. In this song Sizlak is seen taking numerous shots at the HOK gang, where he is posted up in the same alleyways as its rapper EZA No had previously shot videos. Sizlak would also be seen dropping the 3L gang sign. That's what I was just finna say, he got that nigga. That work there to drop down they set, bro. <laughs> Yo, that nigga was something else, bro. He got them niggas to fucking drop down the op set. Tough. I bet he got his ass. I want to know what happened to this nigga after that. What happened to this nigga? He he uh, he got a shop in the ops hood. You know what I'm saying? Then he gonna drop. I want to know what happened to him after that. That man right there. Like did they like like you know what I'm saying? Vandalize his store. Beat him up, pack him out for doing that shit. Like, no niggas like that, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas shot there, so you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know, did they, like, I know they felt some type of way because, like, this nigga's the nigga that we buy shit from. You know what I'm saying? This nigga dropping our set down. Come on, bro. I bet they packed this nigga out. They probably packed this nigga out. You know what I'm saying? Don't you ever do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They probably look like five or six on came in the shop, beat his ass. And told him don't ever do no shit like that. That's probably that's what I'm thinking. What happened to this nigga? Cause he threw the set down. Like that's 
That's something you just don't do, bro. You don't, you know what I'm saying? That's number one disrespect. Out of everything a gang hates is when you throw they set down. Like, they hate every other thing. But if you throw they set down, boy, 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 boy. That's one of the, boy, I'm telling you, boy. That's rule number one. Numerous times throughout the video. Three days down. later on April 23rd, 2016, Sizlak would be leaving a townhouse complex in Melton, Mississauga with a couple of people. Sizlak would be shot with three others, but would be the only person pronounced dead as a result. Nobody from either of the groups mentioned would claim the incident, but many disrespectful statements would be made from the 3 Elwas gang, with its members, referring to Sizlak as an informant, and wearing upside down LV belts such as Houdini. They would even having members approach a store owner, who was seen dropping their gang sign in the video, where in return they made him throw it up. Pressa from 3 Owl would also go on to still mention him in one of his biggest songs of the year called They probably packed that nigga out anyway. They probably did pack that nigga out and then they, yeah, throw it up, nigga. Take this picture. <laughs> they probably packed that nigga out anyway. Attach me. I will be making a part two to this soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Gotta do a reaction to that part two. This shit was wild, bro. This shit was wild. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying? The main thing about these two, about these two right here, these two, uh, this is that these niggas went in the ops hood and did a, uh, a video. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My ass keep saying, you know what I'm saying? But look, bro, that shit crazy because, like, niggas, both of them niggas went in the ops hood. And you know that's right there is what's going to feel the fire. Like, that shit going to bring it over the top because you in they hood and you doing a this video? Like, that's going to make them want to do it anyway even more. Like I said, they already want to kill you. They going to want to kill you even more that you did something in they hood. That shit crazy, bro. I don't know why niggas... Well, I know why niggas do it, but, like, to me, it's crazy to me. Because, like, I don't know, bro. I guess I'm... I don't know, bro. But anyway, bro, look. If you like this type of video, if you like this video and you like this type of content, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell, man. I'm out.